What is up, 73 fans? Welcome back to the 73 Garage. My name is Brandon. If you are just joining us, it has been some time since I have put out a uh, an actual cool mechanical hands-on video. I have been absent, like I said, for some time. Life gets busy. I just had a baby with my wife, so that's been keeping us busy for the past uh, six weeks or so. Uh, that's part of the reason why I wasn't on here. I had a lot of stuff getting ready at the house, so uh, the, the truck and all the other side stuff with Power Strokes and 7.3s kind of went on the wayside, unfortunately, but just kind of how stuff goes. Uh, we're gonna get right to it. I'm heading over to uh, my parents' house, working on my friend Michelle's truck. She has a, an OBS 7.3 that's got some cool goodies on it. Unfortunately, it has an oil leak. We're gonna talk about that when we get there. So that's what we got in store today. Another cool announcement. I know I kind of teased it in the last video I put up, but we have a new sponsor for the 7.3 Garage. It is Complete Performance, also known as CP Addict. Uh, if you guys have seen them on, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Paul and Chris are out in Texas, and they have a ton of aftermarket parts uh, for these trucks. Uh, new old stock stuff and OE replacement and performance stuff as well. So super excited to have them as a part of the 7.3 Garage family. So uh, look for me shouting them out constantly and um, I'll also be tagging uh, all their social media stuff down in the description below if you're not familiar with their company. Uh, but let's get right to the action. We're gonna be here in about a couple of minutes and we're gonna talk about what we have in store today. So here we are. This is, uh, this is Michelle's 1997 F350. Uh, she actually just picked this truck up a couple weeks ago. Long story short, notice it had an oil leak. These trucks can leak in multiple different locations under the hood, which can mimic a uh, rear mainsail leak or oil pan leak. Um, to get right to the point here, if you're not familiar, the 7.3 heads, uh, they have a what they call an oil log. Uh, it's basically one of the first common, common rail, quote unquote, designs um, for a diesel technology. Uh, in the front and the rear of the head, you have these plugs that there's one here and there's one up front. Uh, they have a half inch drive insert. Uh, these are O-ring from the factory and they can leak. Uh, this engine has about 200,000 miles on it. Um, either can leak any of any of the four. There's Again, there's two plugs per head, uh, front and rear. So uh, this is where our issue is. The only way to get to this that I've found and some researchers I've found on uh, the, the forum archives is drilling a hole through the firewall, which I've already done. And uh, we didn't really have a whole lot of success the other day when we were messing with it. So. Uh, what our plan today is, is we're actually gonna use an electrical tool uh, called a knockout set that we use for like electrical panels and stuff. Um, so we're gonna open this hole up, come over just a little bit more to my left here, and we're gonna insert our half inch drive impact extension with an impact gun and uh, hopefully pop this guy out of here. I have the replacement part already. Uh, the, oh, the OE Ford replacements, they're actually updated. So the O-ring uh, is in a different location and it's more of a high pressure O-ring. So we'll show you what those look like here. Here's our impact extensions. And uh, this is the updated version here. I think they changed the position of the O-ring. So again, this is a high pressure O-ring and this is torqued to uh, 60 foot pounds. And you have to seal it up with Loctite 277 per the Ford Tech manual. But uh, I think we're gonna have our hands full with this. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I, uh, our somewhat know-how and experience, I think we're gonna be able to knock this thing out. So. Uh, we're getting ready again, like I said, to open that hole up and hopefully get our extensions in there and, and do what we need to do. Here's what we're gonna be using for, for our firewall, like I just mentioned. This is again called a knockout set. This is made by a company called Greenlee. If any of you guys are in the electrical trade, you're probably familiar with one of these. Um, so they have different, they call knockout sizes. So this is a one inch. Uh, essentially, this is gonna go through the firewall on the driver's side and I'm gonna hold this on uh, and, and I'm gonna try and get this in the right spot. We're gonna thread it together and almost works like, um, what do you call it? Almost like a rivet gun, right? You kind of pump it's it. A punch, it's, a it's a hydraulic, hydraulic punch. punch, essentially. So we'll tighten it up. It, it pulls this tight and it knocks out that metal. So we're going to have a nice one inch hole to work with. And then we're going to seal that hole up with some silicone. And uh, again, another electrical component. So uh, we're going we're gonna to jump right in that. So we have our knockout in the cab. And uh, this is kind of what I'm going to do here. So you can kind of get a good shot of it. Get a couple threads on this. How tight does this have to be again? Yeah, I'll come around in a second. Well, you can do it from the outside and see it pulls through. This is pretty much flush with the. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, let me come around. So that's what we're. No, just tight. You can just fill it there if you want. Okay. Ready? Yep. So he's gonna just hand pump it, and what it's gonna do is pull that that uh that collar in. And it's gonna knock out all that metal in our way. Boom. There it is. 
Now we got a nice, a nice hole into the firewall. And again, we're gonna seal this up. We're not gonna leave this like that, but this gives us a ton of working room to get access onto uh, that oil rail end plug. This is our setup that we got under here. This is from the, from the um, inside of the cab. Here's our impact gun. We have our impact extension right on there. And again, that goes right into that half inch drive uh, port, or I guess insert on the oil rail plug. So we're gonna give this a bump or two here and uh, see what kind of progress we can make. All right, so we, uh, we're ready to go here. We're gonna see how we do. What's up? Watch the I'm watching it. Yeah, this, I'm watching the. Uh, Ready? Yeah. All right, go. Ready? Yeah. Hit it again. We got it. Okay, a little bit of a pucker moment because if this uh, if this had stripped, we would have been in bad shape. But uh, we were, were able just to knock it loose, so um, we're gonna go nice and easy out. Go ahead. See. All right, good. Let me put my fingers on it. Can you pull the whole thing out and I'll take it out by, by with my fingers? That's it, it's out. All right. There she is. Oh man, the bucket placement? I deserve an award for that. Uh, it's under there. All right, there she is. Oh, there's our problem. Check this out. There's our leak. See the O-ring all torn up? Yep. There she is. Again, here's our new our new plug from Motorcraft. You can get four of these from like Riff Raff Diesel or anything. That they're, they're OE. They're like 30 bucks for four of them. Uh, and they come with the O-rings. So um, as you can see, this is this O-ring is like a rock. I mean, you guys can even probably hear that on the table. So that's where our, our leak point was. Uh, again, these are I, this is the first one I've, I've encountered that's leaked. I'm sure I've seen others that haven't or have been leaking from here. Just really haven't, you know, really dug into it to diagnose it. But uh, this is our new one, different type of O-ring. I think this plugs a little bit deeper than uh, the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and degrease that oil rail plug uh, so we can put that Loctite 277. This is again recommended by four. This is in the tech manual. So we're going to get that going and then we're going to torque it uh, to 60 foot pounds per the Ford manual. And then the last part here, this is called a, a KO seal or a knockout seal. If you need to seal up a hole on, on an electrical panel and we're gonna be using that on uh, the cab. So we're gonna jump into getting this thing back on the road. Okay, to show everybody where we're at, we're gonna go ahead and insert that new plug. All right, Pops, go ahead. So we have our Loctite 277, the new plug, and we have our O-ring is lubed up. He's gonna hand tight that as best as best as he can, and we're gonna finish it up with the torque wrench in here. All right, as tight as I can get it, my finger. Okay, here's the final product. There's our knockout seal. Seals the firewall up. I'll give you guys a shot from the, under the hood. That's how she looks under here, so not too bad. We're gonna use a black RTV silicone on the inside and uh, go pick some oil up and give this thing a fire and see how she does. We just got back from the store. We added about three and a half quarts of oil, almost four, it was down pretty low. This truck was leaking about three quarts of oil over a span of a day and a half, two days. So this leak was pretty significant. Uh, we filled it up, we got the leak um, all cleaned up. It's all degreased. Uh, just be aware when you go to start these things again since you had the oil system opened You go you want to drive this for about 10 to 20 miles aggressively to really work that air out You can have some drivability problems if you do not do that So I get that complaint a lot from some people that they've had the oil system open and they have Random shutoffs the truck stutters, but you got to drive it and and do it. So go ahead, pops crank it up So I expect this to crank a little bit uh, Based on the fact that like I said, we did have the oil system open Couple cycles of this and we'll get it. We'll get it. Boom. 
that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you for tuning in i hope this is helpful um if you have someone that you know that is having this problem with their 73 send in this video make sure you like like and subscribe as always we're gonna have more content coming i'm dropping all the sponsors down below you can check out their pages and all their websites all that good stuff that's all i got for now my name is brandon this is 73 garage we will see everybody very soon